Mad Maxine screams Russians are out to get her after she gets nasty surprise from voters. Maxine Waters made a name for herself with desperate Democrats who hailed her, at 79 years old, as the new face of the Democratic Party after she launched her ridiculous Impeach 45 campaign that has just been proven to be based on lies. Most Americans saw her as the crazy nut job she truly is, and now, she is having a meltdown, screaming Russians are out to get me, after she got a nasty surprise from voters. You don't want to miss this. Mad Maxine is freaking out over the recent news that Hillary Clinton and the DNC paid for the fake Russian dossier. Four months, Waters railed against President Donald Trump, promising her fans that he was indeed part of a conspiracy with the Russians to steal the election. She swore he would be impeached over the Russian dossier. Here you have a president who I can tell you and guarantee you is in collusion with the Russians to undermine our democracy. Here you have a president that has obstructed justice. And, here you have a president that lies every day, Waters said, as reported by the Washington Examiner. She became the darling of the Democrats, with a new fan base calling for Waters to run for president. Those of us who live in reality knew it was only a matter of time before Mad Maxine imploded. We had to endure months of Waters ranting and peach 45 and lying on CNN and MSNBC, who could not get enough of her anti Trump lies and rhetoric. Well, that day has come. Maxine Waters is melting down and refuses to speak about the proven evidence that it's Hillary, not President Trump, who is colluding with the Russians. Instead, she's claiming that Russians are out to get her, hoping to distract from the fact that she's been proven to be a nut job. I have been aware for some time that I was targeted by Russian operatives whose interests were aligned with Donald Trump. I have often noticed that every time I tweeted about Trump and Russia, Dozens of strange accounts would immediately tweet various lies and falsehoods that fringe outright websites would subsequently use as a basis to write fake news stories, said Waters, according to The Hill. Immediately, the Twitterverse responded. American patriots let Andy Maxine know that dozens of strange accounts were actually American voters letting her know she was full of crap. Does she really think the Russians care about her? Come on. No one cares about her. She's a cartoon character, that's why she is followed, tweeted James Flaherty, and he was not alone. Donna Hart tweeted, No really? It was We the People, which sent the message to Maxine that her paranoia is nothing but a figment of her narcissistic imagination, or maybe wishful thinking, as her whole world is crumbling. Back in January, Elle magazine featured Waters as their idol, as they describe one of her now infamous interviews. If this was a movie it would be called Journey to the Center of the Reed and Meryl Streep would play Waters. The whole thing reaches its peak when she, Waters, says of the president-elect, I don't honor him. I don't respect him. And I don't want to be involved with him, the outlet reported. Elle's article goes on, Maxine Waters is Thor because she brought down the hammer. She is a congresswoman in the United States and she's like, the president is a bugaboo. He's bugging what? He's bugging who? He's bugging me and don't you see that ain't cool? Wow, that article isn't aging well. It's a reminder that the mainstream media has no clue about who this woman really is as they ignore that her nickname in the district she reps is Poverty Pimp. We are witnessing the fall of Maxine Waters, whose 15 minutes are up. Her days are numbered as a young Hispanic GOP challenger, Omar Navarro, is nipping at her heels. It will be we the people backing Navarro, who will bring down the hammer of justice on the poverty pimp in November 2018, once and for all. For all.